welcome back to my channel. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, I want to tell you guys a story of how my boyfriend broke up with me. So a little backstory, um, me and my boyfriend moved in with a co-worker of his. Uh, we rented out a bedroom and a bathroom in like their little townhouse, so it was very like small and I barely even knew these people, so for me it was really awkward. It was in May right after grad, <laughs> like a, literally like a couple days after grad. I was working and I got a text message with the four words nobody likes to hear or read on their phone. We need to talk. The worst text message anyone could receive, you all know the feeling, like that dreadful what is going on feeling. Like it ruined my whole rest of my shift, it was awful. I started texting and being like, what do you mean? Because to me, this was like out of nowhere. Like we were fine, I was happy, other than our living situation. I was happy with him, I loved him, everything was great. And so he kept texting me and he was like, oh well, like, you know, and I, I was like, what do you mean you need to talk to me? He's like, we just need to talk about stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I was like freaking out. I was like, what do you mean we need to talk? And I was like, well, then it just made me scared to go home. I didn't want to deal with this. I didn't want to go through with this. It wasn't my idea. I didn't want to do this. So then I said, what if I don't come home? Like, what if I don't see you and you can't break up with me? But I didn't say like break up with me because at the time I didn't even know that was what he was thinking. I was like, what? Like, what does he have to say to me? Like, it was freaking out. Like, I don't know if he was cheating on me or what he was going to tell me. He said, if you don't come home, then we won't have closure. So he was going to break up with me and it, like, I was crying the whole rest of my shift. The guys I was working with were like, what's going on? And I was like, my boyfriend wants to break up with me. Oh, it was awful. So I went home after my work shift because I had nowhere else to go. Like I didn't have anywhere to go. So I went there and I sat in the car for probably like 45 minutes. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not tonight. Like I have school tomorrow. Like I'm not doing this. So I finally manned up and I went home thinking it was all a joke. Like maybe he's playing a huge prank on me. I don't know. And he was like sitting in the room and I like walked in and he was like, I'm sorry, like this has to happen, like I want to break up with you. And I like ran to the stairs and started crying. It was so embarrassing because we were living with somebody else at the time too, but I was like, I was just so sad. So I was crying on the stairs and he like comes to see me, he gives me a hug and he says to me like, oh, it'll be okay. So he like takes me back into the bedroom. And he starts trying to comfort me, saying like, oh, you can still live here, everything will be fine. He's like, I just love you more as a sister. Like, who says that? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like to this day, that's just so weird. I don't know why he said it. That night I stayed there, and then the next morning, uh, I think he went to school before me or something, or I left. I don't know what happened the next day. But I remember like going to school and everything, or I don't even know if I had school the next day, I don't know what I did. But I know like everything was fine because he told me I could still live there and we would just be good. And I was hoping like maybe it was a phase, like maybe we'll get over it, maybe we'll get back together, like it's fine. And so that next day, or yeah, that next day I went to work and he came to my work and he like asked me for my keys. And I'm like, what do you mean? Why do you need my keys? And he's just like, here, like, give me your keys. I have some of your things. I'm like, what do you mean some of my things? Like, I didn't pack anything. I didn't move any of my things. So I give him my keys because I'm like, I don't know what he wants for me. So I go to my car and everything is literally shoved into my car. From the roof to the floor, there's no room at all. There's like a little spot for me to sit in the driver's seat and that is it. All my things I owned were shoved into my little Ford Focus. There was no room at all. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what Like, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Where am I supposed to put it? And yes, I could have moved home. I could have gone back home with my parents. But when I moved out, they were like, oh, like you're not going to make it. Like, it's such a bad idea. So there was no 
way I was going to move back home. There was no way. I was going to prove them wrong. I was going to prove them that I could make it. I was not moving home. So that night I went to my friend's house and I stayed there for a couple nights, which she hated because I was miserable and sad. So I cried myself to sleep every night and she hated her life. If you ask her to this day, she will say she hated her life during that like one week. It was awful. She, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Des. So yeah, and then we, we had the same group of friends, which is super weird. So like I was talking to them and he was talking to them and I was getting like, I was asking them like, oh, like, how does he feel about me? Does he miss me or anything? And they'd always be like, no, he doesn't miss you at all. Like, he doesn't like you anymore, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, are you sure? Like, he's going to want to get back together with me, right? And they're always like, no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to be with you. And I was like, are you kidding me? So my heart was broken. I was trying to text him. His mom's wedding was coming up, and I planned to go. And that night when he was breaking up with me, he was like, oh, yeah, you can come to the wedding and everything. And, like, I was trying to text him about it, no response, like, he wouldn't, like, have a conversation with me, he was pretty much like, get on my life, like, who cares? So then I just, I moved on, I was like, okay, whatever, he's done with me, then I'll be done with him too, even though I was still in love with him, I was like, oh well, like, what's a girl gotta do, right? <laughs> so I moved on, and he moved, he ended up moving back home, and then I ended up moving somewhere totally else, um, not by myself. There's a whole other story to that. It's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of funny. I don't know if I'm going to share it, but if you want me to share it, give a thumbs up and comment below, and then maybe I'll think about sharing it because it's kind of embarrassing. But let me know if you want to hear it. A lot of my friends and a lot of people that know me already know the story, so <laughs> they're probably going to want me to share it. But yeah, and then maybe I can get Damon's opinion on why he even broke up with me because to this day it still confuses me I don't know so if you want him to share why he broke up with me comment that below as well and then if you also want a part two of how we got back together because if you didn't know we are still dating we live together we live in an apartment and we have our dog together so if you want that story comment that below as well and then maybe I'll have a part two so thanks for watching thanks for hearing all about my breakup and I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day with your lover or your girlfriends or by yourself, pigging out, just whatever you're doing, enjoy the day, it's just another day, another day for love, you can love your friends, your family, whoever, and I hope you all enjoy it and I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, night, whatever time of day it is, and I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already for updates on my new videos and that you stay tuned for when they come out and thanks for watching bye